guys, today we are going to be playing with some single shadows and honestly most of this video is probably going to be a swatch party because I have a bunch of new single shadows here from a brand called the Pastel Roses. This is a UK based indie brand. They were so kind to send me a ton of their shadows. When they reached out to me, I was like, you know what? I've heard of this brand, but I don't really know a lot about it. I feel like a lot of people that I follow on Instagram has some of their stuff and I've seen them tagged, but I haven't really been on their site before. So like I said, when they reached out, I was so excited because their shadows look absolutely beautiful. And when I got the package and I saw all of this beautiful sparkly goodness, and we have some really interesting shades here down on the bottom, they kind of have like a, a marbled effect to them. And I don't know like how these are going to swatch or perform, but I'm so excited to be uh, just trying these and seeing what they look like because I have not swatched any of these. I've been so good at keeping my fingers out of them. It's been so hard, <laughs> but I stayed strong and here we are and I cannot wait to share these with you guys. So we're just gonna go ahead and swatch them. Uh, these are in no particular order. I kind of put them in by color, I suppose. And then I have the kind of weird ones on the bottom. But other than that, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna dive straight in and see what these are all about. So I took a quick look on their website and it looks like most of these are between like six and nine dollars or something like that which is pretty common for like indie brand single shadows so let's just go ahead and start i am going to do a quick look with these after of course so first off we have the shade here called daisy and it has a little heart on the back i know you can't see that but that is the cutest thing so it's kind of it's a little dry to the touch and a little bit flaky but also kind of smooth at the same time that looks to be a beautiful iridescent yellow with a little bit of green that's really really i love shades like this these are so fun next up we have the shade called lacerta that's a name that i've never heard this one feels a lot drier so let's see yeah definitely a different kind of texture the first one was way more smooth and this one is a little bit drier and a little bit flakier but it looks really really nice this is definitely a duochrome like i see green here and then when i look straight ahead i see orange so that is beautiful shade number three looks to be a beautiful yellow to i don't know if this is oh that feels very smooth okay so it has a pink shift to it it's a yellow with a pink shift let's go ahead and swatch it out wow that's really pretty too very very pretty I am very excited about these. They feel really, really nice. And I feel like they're going to apply beautifully on the eyes as well, especially with some kind of a glitter primer. Next up, we have the shade here called Carrot Cake. <laughs> so this looks to be a peach with a green shift. Let's go ahead and swatch this. This one is definitely one of those kind of marbled. I don't know if it's, it's not really that marbled, but it has a bit of a pattern that you kind of smush around and then becomes one. That looks really pretty. All of these look kind of similar. Oh yeah, that one swatches a little bit more opaque and smoothly. They look, when I look straight ahead here, like in my mirror, they look almost exactly the same. But when I look at them from the side, I can see peach, yellow, green, and kind of bluish green. <laughs> Very interesting. These are really fun so far. I am excited. Next up, this one looks absolutely stunning. This is the shade Nectarine. I love the names. I love that. I love food themed anything. Okay, so this is one of those that remind me so much of the It's Bell Cosmetics palette and the one that was in the Alien Cosmetics palette. Uh, yeah, that looks like the exact same shade. It's a beautiful peachy green. That's really pretty. So I'm pretty sure that all of these shadows are handmade so these are not from like a factory so even though they might be similar to another brand these are not like private labeled and from like i said another manufacturer that other brands can use i'm pretty sure so next we have the shade called osiris is that how you say that that feels very gritty it almost it wouldn't say it feels like a glitter is this one of the holographic ones that looks so cool let me just go ahead and swatch that out interesting yeah, it definitely feels kind of gritty when I swatch it out. It's not the smoothest. I feel like on the eyes though, it's going to look really, really nice. It's hard to explain what this one looks like. I kind of see like yellow glitters and then it has like a gold or bronze base to it. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I feel like that one would look a lot better on the eyes. Like, like I said, with some kind of a glitter primer. Next up is one of the shades that I am the most excited about, and this is the shade called Starfish. Like when I look here, I basically see green and you see green as well, but then on the side, all I see is like a pinkish red. 
<laughs> so this is going to look absolutely stunning. This one feels a little bit smoother, but it's harder pressed than some of these other ones. Yeah, I definitely feel like I've seen a shade like this before, but oh yeah, that's very pretty. That is a beautiful uh, duochrome. I'm gonna try to get some better swatches when I'm done swatching these out and give you some close-ups so you can see them better, but so far, I really like all of these. I feel like all of these, like I've said a thousand times now, are going to perform so well with some kind of a glitter primer underneath, which is how I always use my shimmers. Next up, we have the shade called Cat Eye or Cat's Eye, and this looks to be a purpley blue, maybe a little bit of green as well. Oh, that looks really metallic. Let's see. Yeah, that's beautiful. Ooh, I like that. That is so shiny. Oh, that looks really, really pretty. Mmm. Next up, we have the shade called Beetle, which is definitely a duochrome as well. I feel like all of these are duochromes, which is, of course, very fun because I love me a good duochrome as much as I like me a good regular shimmer. I am not really that picky with uh, shimmers. Like, I pretty much like all of the shimmer formulas as long as they're nice and intense. <laughs> The only shimmers I don't like are satin, so I am probably going to like all of these, not gonna lie. <laughs> Next up we have what looks to be a very interesting shade here. This is one called ooh, um, Zoisite. <laughs> Z-O-I-S-I-T-E. It also has a little star behind it. It's so cute. It's the cute little touches. So this has a green to gray shift. That probably is not correct. That is so interesting though. I don't know if you can see that properly, but let's go ahead and swatch this out. These are so unique. Ooh, that is really pretty. Like now I see turquoise and pink. That is so cool. Let's do one more before I clean my arm here. And this one is called Lime Twist. So this is a, it's definitely a lime, <laughs> tell you that much. Let's see what else you got. Ooh, that is so metallic. Uh, Oh yeah, oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. How would I even explain this? I mean, cause I really see just yellow now, but it's also green. It's got a lot going on with it. That is beautiful. Let me go ahead and show you some close-ups of these real quick before we move on, because I need to clean off my arm because you guys know I'm not very good at swatching and making room for a lot of shadows on my arm. It's just not my strong suit because then I'm just gonna end up overlapping all of them, but these look absolutely stunning. And I cannot wait to pick like a few of these to use on my eyes today because I think whatever I end up choosing, it's just going to look so good. Let's move on. Next up we have the shade here called Palm, which is a this is almost the same as, which other one did I swatch? It was the same one that was on top that was kind of like a dark green. Yeah, like green to magenta. That is so interesting. Oh, that is like so green for you, but like on the side, it's like, is this a multi-chrome? All I see is just a magenta, like I said. That is beautiful. I wonder, can you see the shift? Yeah, a little bit right here. So pretty. Next we have the shade called Riverside, which just looks to be a beautiful metallic blue. This one was a little bit harder pressed. It's a little bit tougher to get like a lot of product on. It has a little bit of like a purple sparkle in it. It's really, really pretty though. This one looks absolutely beautiful as well. It's a purple with little, oh, that's another one of those kind of gritty ones. I wonder if these are like, not holographic, but they have a very distinct texture that I don't really feel like I have in other shadows. And they go on a little bit, I don't wanna say chunky, but like you can feel that it has a little bit of grit to it, but they look really pretty. Like I see so many different colors in this. Like this definitely could be one of the holographic shadows. Does it say here on the back? Um, I don't think so. This this one doesn't have a name either. They forgot to put the name on this one. So this is, this is nameless. <laughs> Next we have what looks to be a pretty basic purple shimmer, but it's probably not basic at all. I mean, having swatched some of these, but let's go ahead and see what it looks like swatched out. This is the shade called Cornflower, and that looks very pretty. It's also a duochrome. I'm pretty sure it has... Like a little bit of blue to it. It has a little bit of 
a lot of, a lot of everything, honestly. It's very beautiful. How many times can I say pretty or beautiful or... I, I don't have a lot of ways to describe words, okay? <laughs> That's not what I was trying to say. You know what I was trying to say. Uh, let's move on. Next up, we have the shade called Blackberry. This looks beautiful. This, this would make for the most amazing dark smoky eye. It's like a blue to, again, like a magenta. Let's swatch that out. Ooh, that is really, wow. This reminds me of, you know, those shimmers that used to be so popular back in the day, like a brown with like either a green or a blue shift. This reminds me so much of that, but like in the most intense way possible. And the, the base of it is more of a red rather than a blue, or no, rather than a brown. And it has a very strong blue shift to it. That is stunning. Next up, we have another shade that looks very much like the one in the It's Belle Cosmetics palette. This is the one called Moonlight. Wow, that's a very chunky formula. Let me make sure I get a... Okay, so I can actually press it down and it feels a lot smoother. Yeah, that looks beautiful. It's very, very soft though. Yep, definitely the kind of color that I have already that I know I absolutely love. So wet looking looks beautiful with so many different colors it has it's it's actually kind of similar to the to this one but this one is way more opaque but this one has sort of the same shift in that it has a like kind of a, a light brown base with a blue shift but like you can obviously see that they're very different but like the shifts in them is kind of similar in a way really pretty as well i think the next one here is another one of those kind of gritty shades, like I can see it. Like I can see so many different colors in this. This is the shade called Bon Bon. Yep, this one feels gritty as well. And I'm guessing it's going to swatch exactly the same as the other ones that are kind of like this. Yeah, that has so many different colors in it. This is so cool. I might have to use one of these on my eyes today because I'm so curious like what they're going to look like. And if you're able to get like a really nice and smooth application with them. But I feel like something like this, because I can see like very small little blue glitters in it, would look so good with like a blue crease. Ooh, I am excited. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but whatever it ends up being, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. So let's do this one before we do those kind of weird marbled ones. This is the shade called Malagueta. Don't know what that means. Uh, I'm not gonna look it up because I'm lazy and I don't do that. Wow, look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful sort of turquoisey blue. That is really pretty. That is totally my kind of color. I could see myself really liking that one. Now, here's for the close-ups of these ones. Like I said, we're gonna move into the more special and weird ones that I'm so curious about after, but so far, I am so impressed by these and I cannot wait to use them because so many beautiful beautiful eyeshadows it's it's gonna be so hard to like pick even one or two or three of these because i just i want to use all of them okay let's do the last six so this is the first one we're gonna swatch here is kind of what it looks like up close you can see it has a kind of yellow pattern inside of the purple this one is called cream dream so i'm just gonna swirl my finger in here and kind of ruin whatever they were trying to make this look like, but okay, so that is a purple. Wow, that's very interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that. I feel like having a bit of a purple and yellow together and then swirling them together sort of makes it look a little bit muddy, but maybe that is what they were trying to go for. But I can't really explain what this color looks like. It just looks like you mix purple and yellow together and I don't really like that color. So yeah, I'm not sure about this one. It's an interesting idea though and I'm curious to see what these other ones are gonna be. I feel like this next one is going to be a lot better. This has like pink and green and blue in it and it also has that kind of speckled pattern. So we're gonna go ahead and just give this one a swatch as well. This is the shade called Confetti, which is very fitting trying to make sure I really mix these together here. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and give this a swatch as well. Yeah, so it just turns into a very pretty bluish purple. Don't really see a lot of other things going on there, but yeah, that is very, very pretty color. 
<laughs> Next up, this one freaks me out a little bit. I don't know if it's just the way the pattern looks, but <laughs> it just looks like, it looks like a virus inside. <laughs> or it looks like there's mold growing in the eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this. This one is called Biscuit Beast. <laughs> I see what you did there. Okay, let's go ahead and... That is so cool. That's so cool. Let me... What? <laughs> That's not at all what I was expecting, but I really like that. It's basically a black with like a little bit of a blue tint to it. This would make for the most beautiful black smoky eye. That is really, really cool. What an interesting black shade. See, I never would have guessed that this would turn into just being a black. Wow, those black specks really took over, but that is very, very fun. Okay, next up, I think this one is going to look really, really nice as well. This is a purpley white-ish speckle pattern. So we're gonna go ahead and give this one a swatch. This one feels very smooth and it is called Lilac Fusion, which totally makes sense because it's basically turning into a bit of a lilac here. Yeah, that is a really cute lavender shade. This next one is super interesting as well. This one is called Botanique. You can see it has a couple of different colors in here. I see some green, I see some pink, some white. Let's go ahead and give this one a swatch. Super interesting what this is going to turn into. Okay, so it's mostly turning into a green. Oh, that's really cool. That is a very unique color. Again, it's basically just like mixing these colors together and then this is what you get. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really hard to explain some of these because they're not like, they're not the kind of colors that you would normally mix together. And so they don't make a normal color that you would be able to explain. <laughs> Okay, last up, we have what looks to be a bit of a tiger print. <laughs> it's called tiger. <laughs> wow, <laughs> could have guessed that. So you can see it has gold and black basically. So if we swirl these together, is this one gonna turn into mostly a black as well? That really wouldn't surprise me at all. Wait, wait, this is green. <laughs> My fingers are so dirty right now. Wow, that turned into the most amazing grungy green shimmer. I was not expecting that. I guess now that I've kind of swirled them together, you can see it a lot more in the pan as well, but how cool is that? Very, very interesting. That was really fun to just see what they turn into. So here are the swatches for the last shadows that I just swatched out. I need to figure out what I want to do with my eye look, so I'm going to grab some mattes, grab some palettes that I want to use, and then I will just do, I'll just go ahead and do my crease. I'll speed it up. I'll show you what I'm doing. And then we can move into trying these shimmers on my eyes because I feel like this video is already probably 20 minutes long because I've been rambling. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is where we're at. I've put down some of my NYX glitter primer and now we're gonna test out some of these shimmers. I still don't really have a plan, which I probably should have thought of it just before I started, but here we are. So I think the shadow that I wanna use on my lid is going to be one of these kind of gritty holographic shades. So I'm gonna choose this one, which was the shade called Oh Serious. 
And I'm gonna pick that up on the same side of my sticky brush here that I have my glitter primer on. And we're just gonna kind of put this on the lid and see what it looks like. I am super curious. And I think that I'm only going to use this shadow on my lid and then I'll do kind of one shadow underneath my eye as well. So this is very interesting. It's a little bit hard to just pick up a lot on the brush and it doesn't look that metallic on the lid, but it looks, it's so hard to explain. You'll see it in the close-ups, but it's a very interesting formula. I don't have anything like this in my collection. And I think I've seen my friend Marthe use one of these shadows. Maybe it was from a different brand. I will leave her channel down below. She is a Norwegian YouTuber as well, but she obviously does her videos in English and she uses a lot of single shadows and her content is great. So go check her out if you wanna see some other really, really cool brands that have similar shadows to this because I have a hard time explaining this and really like putting my finger on how I feel about this formula, but it's really, really cool. It's just not at all like what I was expecting. I'm so used to something that's way more metallic and wet looking, whereas this is looking kind of dry, but it's also just, it's so cool. I feel like this is the kind of shadow that would just look a lot better like in real life, like out in daylight in the sun and stuff like that, rather than in studio lighting, because sometimes with shadows that have a lot of like small glitters in them, uh, they just look so much better when light hits them in certain ways and I feel like these lights don't really do that I'm having a little bit of a hard time just like digging into the shadow and getting a lot on my brush So I'm like really digging in there, which is fine as long as it's working, but it's just something I want to Point out at least but it's really really interesting and I'm so into this color combination of You know like the greens with the the pinks these days I don't know if it's the Kaleidos palette that inspired me or the other one from Lois Cosmetics, but using them together as well, it's just such a cool color combo. I think it's really fun. Yeah, I really like this. I Again, it's just, it's just so different that I probably need a little bit of time to like figure out how exactly I feel about this formula, but it's looking very, very nice and it wasn't hard at all to apply. I think I like this. I think I like this a lot. Let me go ahead and find a shadow that I can use underneath my eye as well. Should I use, I'm tempted to use another one of these, but I don't think I'm going to. Maybe I should use, what was this one? I'm trying to like swat, no, that's too dark. What about this one? That's too dark too. Do I have anything that's not too dark? I could use this, but I think I'm gonna go with, I don't know if that's gonna go though. <laughs> I did not plan this out very well. That would be really pretty, but I wanna use that as my inner corner shade, I think. What about the green? Wowie, that's so pretty, but it's not really gonna go either, is it? What about, <laughs> you guys are like, just make up your mind already, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I might just have to go with this one, even though I have a shade that is like so similar to this already, but that's okay. This is the shade called Nectarine, so I'm gonna pop that in the front portion underneath my eye here. Going to give this a little spritz here because I don't want any fallout and I do want this to be nice and intense. So we're just gonna put that right here. That is beautiful. I wasn't expecting anything else because watching this shade, it's absolutely beautiful. Not sure if that green shift is really going to go, but then again, I have so much green on my top that I feel like it should tie this all together. I wish I had some kind of a more purpley pink shade that was light enough that I could put underneath my eye, but just didn't plan this out very well, story of my life, but that's okay. Yep, this is very pretty. And then to finish it off, should I just use the first one that I, yeah, that's the one I'm going to use. This is the shade called, what are you called? You are called Daisy. So this is just the iridescent one. I'm gonna use that on my same brush here. This is my Refer 03. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that right in my inner corner and just sort of merge my bottom lash line in with my top here. Very pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with my eyes and I will come back and I will show you the look. And this is how I decided to finish off. And I really like this look. Like I said, there's something about the color combination between the greens and the pinks that just, it's hitting the right spot for me right now. I don't know if it's the season, if it's like a very summery thing, but 
I'm here for it. Uh, to finish it off, I used some yellow in my waterline. I used the, uh, what is this thing called? This is a gel liner. It's the gel liner from Lethal Cosmetics in the shade Stereo. And I had a little bit of green in this because I had some green on my brush, so it turned into more of a lime, which kind of turned out pretty good anyway. <laughs> for my lipstick today, I had one from MAC. It's one of the Patent Paint Lip Lacquers. It's in the shade PVC Later. <laughs> And then just to tell you what is on the rest of my face, I am wearing the Natasha Denona Mini Bloom Blush and my Jacqueline Hill Loose Highlighter in the shade High Vault. So that is how I basically finish my face and I really like this. So far I really like these shadows as well and I'm really excited to have them in my collection. Probably not going to do like a multiple look video or anything like that with these because I just simply don't have time. But if you are interested in seeing more content with this brand, with these shadows, do let me know and I can probably pull them into other videos. But so far I'm very intrigued. I'm really excited to play more with these. And I think that these are beautiful. If you've been looking for maybe a UK brand to support or just a new small indie brand, would highly recommend these. I think that they are really nice and I'm very appreciative that the brand sent them over because they are really, really nice shadows. So that's going to be it for today. If you want to see some more single shadow content, here's my playlist. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.